All right, so this video is just a continuation of the previous video. So the last thing that we have to finish up is for those of you who are working on elevations, of just how to draw in these uh, mullions so that you get that representation on your elevations. And so this is how we're gonna go about doing that. So if you open up your project, so these are the windows we just finished in the last video. So if you go ahead and click on them, hit edit family, it'll open them up. We wanna go to our elevation and so if you go to your exterior elevation, you'll notice that those mullions aren't there. So I'm going to come back to my reference level. And I need a work plane to draw them on. And so if I look here, I've got a couple options. I've got this interior face. I've got that work plane. I also have a work plane here in the middle. If I come in here, I hover over it, I can hit tab. And so that's my center front and back. Um, you know, all we're going for here is a representation. We're not going to actually model them in there. And so I can use either of those. I'll go ahead and use this reference plane center, front and back. So I'm going to come on over here to my exterior elevation, double click on that, come in here, go to create. And first I need to set my work plane. So I'll go ahead and click on set. I'm going to set, select that reference plane center, front, back, hit OK. And now my reference plane is set. I'm just going to come on over here to annotate, use symbolic lines. And so I need to come back here, take a look at this. So the vertical ones, I've got three of those, and I've got three horizontal ones as well. So I come back here into Revit. I'm just going to sketch these in here. I've got one there. I'll hit escape. I'll do another one right there escape and do another one right there hit escape so now that i've got those in there i should have before i drew those i should have put them on the right subcategory so i'll just go ahead and select one hold down control select the other two click here and i'm going to put those on frame mullion projection projection so now i've got those on the right subcategory now i can go ahead and click on dimension and kind of like what we did in the last video, I'll come over here, this extrusion shape handle, I'll click there, click on each of my symbolic lines I just drew, select this extrusion shape handle on the other side. If I pull this dimension up and click, right now they're not equal, I can make them all equal, and that's gonna make an equal spacing go all the way across. And then I can go ahead and do another symbolic line and do the same thing going horizontally. Just draw one in, hit escape, Draw another one in, hit escape, draw another one in, and hit escape, and then dimension those again from the extrusion to each symbolic line. Pull it out here, do equal. And then at this point, you can either copy these or you can do all that work over here on this other one again to save a little bit of time. I'm just going to go ahead and save this. So I'll go ahead and do a Save as a family. Again, if you're one of my students, you can save this on the network. I'm just going to save it on my desktop for right now. So I'll hit save. Now I can load this into a project. So first I need to open that project. It looks like it's right there. So there it is. I'm going to come up here to view. Go back to switch windows. I need to go back to that fixed. One that I was working on. So right here, here's the one with the mullions in it. I'll go ahead and do load into project. They asked me, do I want to override it? I'll say yes, override the existing version. Now if I come in here and take a look, this should be my front elevation. Um, it might be your south elevation. If you take a look at it, you'll see the mullions in there. And that's all there is into getting those symbolic lines in there. So hopefully that went as well for you as it did for me. So good luck on getting those drawn in. Uh, thanks again for listening. Let me know if you have any trouble. Thanks.